Hello again, I am ready to paint my bird. He has been, or she has been, um, drawn and outlined. My bird is big. I checked it with my hand. I can still see my bird peeking through my hand. It passes the hand test. My words are clear. They are easy to see. I don't need to get out my magnifying glass to see them. So I am ready to paint them. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to pick a color for my bird. And on my paint tray, I have all colors. There's no black and there's no brown. I know some of them look like it, um, but I actually have a pink and I'm using my finger just to show you. You can tell a little bit better once they are wet. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Um, this one down here is a purpley blue. And then this last one is a purple. Um, so once they get wet, they'll be a little bit easier to tell, but there's no black and there's no brown because we want a nice colorful bird. I'm gonna go with, I liked that first pink color. So this is always how I start my watercolor. I wake them up. They are not awake before they are wet. Um, so I'm going to take my paintbrush. I dip. I wipe it on the edge of my cup. And then I'm going to get my paint woken up. Oop, and you can see just what a beautiful pink that is. And I always want to do that. Dip, wipe, paint. And the reason is I want to be in control of my paint and not the other way around. If I don't wipe off my paintbrush, my paint is going to be super drippy and it's going to go where it wants to. So I always take that extra step just wiping it on the edge of my cup and that way my paint will be even as well. I won't have some really drippy paint and I won't have some that's bright, too bright. So every time I dip in, I dip, I wipe, I paint. And I'm painting my bird one color because what we want to do is we want to make sure that everything is easy to see. That is our goal in our picture, to make everything easy to see. And if we have our bird being 10 colors, it's going to make things a little bit complicated. It's going to make things a little bit harder to see. So I picked one color for my bird shape. Now I'm moving on to a new shape. I can absolutely use another color. So one shape, one color is gonna be the rule we're gonna follow. And when I go to clean off my paintbrush, I'm scrubbing it or wiping it on the side or the bottom of my cup to get all that pink paint off. And I dip, I wipe, and I'm gonna pick a new color. I don't wanna use the same pink for her wings. I wanna pick something else. I'm gonna wake up my blue. Good morning, blue. Good morning, Mrs. Field. I like to talk to my paint. All right, um, and this is a beautiful turquoise blue. And since we did the step of making sure that we outlined with black crayon, our paint is not going to run away out of those little spaces. If we forgot to wipe our paintbrush, yeah, that might happen. But um, I'm painting even in these little areas and it's totally, staying where it's supposed to. Clean my blue off my paintbrush, give it a little scrub on the bottom, wipe off the extra water. I think I'll go with some yellow now. I'll wake up my yellow by getting it a little bit wet. Okay. And I'm gonna paint my beak and my feet. So again, one shape, one color. That's why everything is very easy to see because our picture is going to have a lot of colors going on. We don't need to overdo it by doing a bunch of colors in one shape. All right, I'm going to pick the background color. I definitely don't want to use something I've already used. If I did a pink background for my bird, is it going to show up? No, it's not. Blue might not be the best choice because it might blend in with my tail feathers. Same thing with my yellow. So I'm gonna pick something different. I think I'm gonna go with green. I haven't used any green, and green is very different from my pink. So I picked something that's gonna be very different and make my birds stand out. Wake up green, dip, wipe, and paint. Now, don't be afraid when you are painting to go right up to your bird. Sometimes people are afraid to get too close. That fence, is there to help. That little black line that we made, it's also there so that we can paint over things like the legs. I painted right over them. I didn't have to go around them because my black crayon is not going to go anywhere. 
Crayon has wax in it. You can paint over wax. It's totally safe. And every once in a while, I just go back in and I get my paintbrush wet again. If you start to have a hard time painting, if your paint's not coming off your brush, if you're scrubbing, we don't want to ever do that. We want our paintbrush to always stay pointy like a ballerina foot and not look like a hairy troll. So if you start to see the hairy troll, that means your paintbrush is thirsty and you need to get back in the water. That is the only cure to drive away the hairy troll is water. And I'm just painting my background. I'm using all green because it's one spot, one shape in my background. It's not um, a bunch of different shapes. It's all one area, so it's all going to get the same color. Don't worry about you know, getting it on the table will wipe that up after, not a problem. Um, and again, I'm going all the way up to my bird. It looks a little bit messy and it's hard to see if I stopped here and I didn't paint all the way up to my bird. I wanna make sure that I go all the way up. Go up to that fence. Don't be afraid of your neighbors. Um, there's one part of my picture I am going to keep white, and that is my word bubble. And the reason that I keep that white is so that it's easy to read. It's going to make my words hard to see if I um, painted it a color. So I'm going to paint around my word bubble. I'm going to leave it all white, and that will, again, help it to stand out because that is our goal in our picture. And this probably takes the longest of any of the parts to paint your background. And I'm going all the way up to that fence and I am in control of my paint because I am dipping, I am wiping, and then I am painting. Um, don't forget underneath, all the way up to my bird. And I'm almost done. And you can see that I have Nice bright colors, everything's easy to see. I can still see my bird. I can see my words and he's looking pretty good. Okay, have fun.